For over three decades, Clint Purvis has served as team chaplain for the Florida State football team, building relationships with players, staff, and of course, the coaches. Tonight, he's sharing a story of his special relationship with Bobby Bowden. ABC 27 Sports Director Allison Posey is live tonight at the Bowden statue. And Allison, coach definitely meant a lot to him. Yeah, Clint Purvis was one of Coach Bowden's closest confidants, even after Coach retired following the 2009 season. And he said accepting Coach's death is going to take some time. There's a big void and emptiness in this world right now. Um, it, I can't explain it, just an emptiness and a void without his presence here. Um, and that's going to take some adjusting too. For Clint Purvis, his relationship with Bobby Bowden was a special one. Apart from my mom and dad and my sisters, there's no one on the face of this earth that I love more than him. Clint is the team chaplain for the Florida State football team, a position he held for 21 years under Coach Bowden. One that had he not took a chance on a post-it note, he never would have had. I was at my church here at First Baptist and I'd gone off to speak and came back and there was a post-it on my door saying Co Coach Bowden at such and such a number and I looked and I said, yeah, I'm no fool. So I thought it was a gag and threw it in a trash can. A week later, the same note with the same number. Why would Coach Bowden be calling me of all people and, and, uh, and it turned out to not be a gag. This time he called and the rest is history. Decades of moments shared with Coach Bowden. To this day, I know of no former players that don't consider him a father figure and look up to him. And, and because he saw past their numbers into the heart. And that is what, for Clint, made Coach so special. A sermon may only last for 30 minutes on Sunday. A read may only last 15 to 20 minutes if it's a devotional. But I saw in his life it being lived out 20 Four, seven. And we have lost a voice in the wilderness that could speak to people that wouldn't normally listen. A voice that Clint never saw waver. He could be a king with the kings, and he could be a prince with the paupers. And not and 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 the, and, the, and, the, and who he was and what he did and how he was was the same. He treated the people down here with the same respect and love as he did with the people way up here. A voice that will be missed. Last thing we did is have prayer and he hugged my hand and I said I loved him and I walked out the door and I will miss him so very, very much. Missed, but never forgotten. Purvis said he will not speak at Coach Bowden's funeral on Saturday, but he will be there to say goodbye. At Florida State University, Allison Posey, ABC 27.